what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. You said often that you feel like you've been blackballed by the industry. And before you before you answer, let me say this. Yeah. Technically, I don't know that that's for sure. And then, well, that's, that's why, how it feels. But that's why I'm going because I feel okay. that's that. Cause, that's what I can relate to you because I heard you say that's how I feel. That's how I feel. <laughs> right. Because I got certain access. You know, you're gonna see me in certain places. If I, if I really want to do something, really want to be somewhere, I'm gonna be there. It don't really right. matter who's 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 throwing it, whatever's going on. If I really want to be in, in a certain space, I'm gonna be in that certain space. But I do feel like it's me against them, the establishment. Oftentimes, I do feel like it's me against them. And so, right. and so that's why I ask you that, you know, to, to get your thoughts on that. You feel like, you know, it's you against it. Let me ask you this. Is there anybody in particular do you believe that has ever like blocked you from, from blessings <sighs> in the game? Well, you know? I'll say this. Based on certain things I've said, I may have blocked myself. Um, okay. But I always stand behind what I say. But it may not have been the smartest thing to say. Certain things, you, you, you know, based on what you're trying to accomplish or what you'd like to have, it might be better to shut the fuck up. Right. Um, and I have a problem shutting the fuck up, especially when I'm passionate about my feelings. You know, I always say this. We all know as people, ideally, who we would like to be, and then we know who we really are. I got Michael Corleone ambitions, but I got Sonny Corleone uh, execution. I would love to be quiet and stoic and calculated and strategic and make my moves where people don't see them coming. That's some Don, that's some Michael Corleone shit. But I'm more like, nigga, what? what you say? Man, fuck this. And, yeah. and, and in this business, and a lot of times in life, that That's dangerous. That don't work. In like this. Dave Chappelle's sketch, when keeping it real goes wrong. Just because yeah. it's real don't make it the right thing to do. Right. You know what I mean? And was there a turn in your career that you started like really feeling this way that you felt like you had to be, you know, really vocal about how you felt about things? Because I remember, you know, when you was doing stand up early on, it was just really pretty much jokes. I really didn't hear you like, you know, being personal. Like, like now, like, damn me every thought you have, man, you taking the Instagram, you going to social media, you letting them know, this is how I feel. This is what it is. And oftentimes it seemed like you just had the thought, just like you turned the damn phone on, like, and just started talking, like, like you, you just, you know, like going off the top of the head, this is how I feel. Right. So your point, was there a point that you made the trend, uh, you know, a transition? Or was it always that, but it was just simmering? You, you know, I, listen, I've never wanted to be comedically a one trick pony. Um, and it used to bother me when people would say, all he does is impressions. And it's like, nah, again, if I'm talking in basketball terms, my hero is Michael Jordan. I want to show people that, hey, I don't just dunk. I can shoot and play defense. I got basketball IQ. I can pass. I can rebound. I can do it all. Mm -hmm. um, so I never wanted to be just that. And, and my two favorite comedians, Dave Chappelle and God rest his soul, Patrice O'Neill. Mm -hmm. And both of those guys, like there's levels to this shit. And comedically, yeah, you can look at a, a dude and go, hey, look, if your job is just to be funny, which that's our number one job, well then, whether you like Carrot Top or whether you like Patrice, both dudes are accomplishing the goal. They're making you laugh. Comedy's subjective, but there's levels to this. And Dave and Patrice were on the highest of levels because they weren't just funny as fuck, they were thought provoking. They, co comedy is supposed to make you feel a little uncomfortable. It's supposed to make you think, it's supposed to challenge you. Right. And I've always wanted to be able to do that. I've always wanted people to come to a show and go, man, that nigga's crowd work. Man, that nigga's impressions. Man, that nigga's jokes. This nigga can go political. He can go blue. 
This nigga got range. This motherfucker, like I wanted people to walk away going, this nigga's got skills. Mm -hmm. So, you know, plus, and, and, and not only that, listen, man, as vain as we are, as entertainers, um, at the end of the day, I know this Hollywood shit is a bunch of bullshit. The money's nice, the fame, the attributes, all the shit you get from it is beautiful. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I, I care more about being a human being. What the haters talking about?